Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of multiplying with area models. This is standard 4.4c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 16 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got a very simple problem here, 14 times 14, they even give us the answer, 196. We just need to find which of these models matches that. So let's just start with F and then we'll work our way through G, H, and J. So take a look at what we have here. We've got a area model and it's got two numbers on the top. So we've got 10 and four. You notice our 10 are really, really long. And then we've got four, and that's just our four little boxes. One, two, three, four. So this 10 and four, what that 10 and four is, you can actually add those up. So what we get right there on F is a 10 plus four. And then it multiplies it by this four over here. So you've got four rows of this 10 plus four. And so we can use our distributive property. Let's just go ahead and kind of put that back together if we wanted to. And then we'll look at how we can do it separately. So if we wanted to put that back together, so 10 plus 4, that makes 14. So we could just do a 14 times 4 if we wanted to. Add those two together. And that's going to be 16. That's 56. The distributive property says, well, we take this 10 and we multiply it by the 4. So that's 40. And then we take this 4, multiply that by the 4, that's 16, add those two together, and there you go. You get the same answer, 56. And so either way, here's my 40. There's my 4 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40. So don't make them uh, with numbers, but they make them super long so you can tell what they are. And then here is my 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you got your 40, you get your 16. As we can see, it makes 56. We don't need 56. We need 196. So that's how an area model works, and F is not correct. Let's look at G. Well, G is not anything fancy. You notice there's no big long 10s. It's literally just 7 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and there's two rows of 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So well, this first one was at least some type of multiplication problem. 14 times 4 equals 56. G, literally 7 times 2 equals 14. Now why would anyone pick that? Well, there's your 14. I guess, I guess that's the trick right there, is that 14. So that is not going to work for us. H, H looks pretty big. So if we could add these two right here, what could we get? Well, we could get a 10 plus 4 times, and then another 10 plus 4. And 10 plus 4 is 14. And another 10 plus 4 is 14, so that looks good. Now, how does this work on the distributive property? Well, we do it in a certain order. It's something you'll learn in middle school. Foil first, outer, inner, last. So we multiply the first terms in both numbers. So 10 times 10 makes 100. And that's what you're going to get right here. You're going to get that 100 right here because it's a big 10 by 10. It almost looks like a place value flat right there. And then we're going to do the outer. So 10 times this 4. So there's your 40. And that's going to be right here. you got your 40 right here. And then you've got your inner 4 times 10, which is another 40. And that's your other 40 down here. And then your last, your 4 times 4. That's 16. That's it right there. So that's how that works. That equals 196. And then J is just 14 times 1. Not sure what we're doing there. It's at 14. Our answer here is H.